it's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Lauren, and her favorite person is Steve Martin. Our second player is Brooke, and her favorite place is Stockholm, Sweden. And our third player is Shani, and his favorite thing is mango. And now she didn't get much sleep, so let's see how wrong this goes. It's Melissa Peterman. Don't worry, Jamie, it's gonna go great. I never get cranky when I don't get any sleep. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where our players need to pay attention because it really pays off. And joining me today, I have three phenomenal players who are here today to battle it out for their shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. Yeah, baby. Yes, I love that. And back for her third consecutive day is our returning champion, Brooke, who has already won a couple of great prizes, but I know she's hoping to make it back to that final round and win that yes. $5,000. But Shani and Lauren are here, and they're looking to start a winning streak oh, of their yeah. own. You ready to get started? Let's go. Yes. I love this go-to ah. attitude, Shani. You're waking me up. Five Gs, baby. Okay, well, in round one, we're gonna play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I'll be giving you clues. Here we go. Welcome back, Brooke. How Thank are you? you? Good. Happy so to be here. So third time, huh? Day three. Third time's a charm. Is it hard to be away from your new baby, or is this actually a, just a little, a nice little rest for you? A nice little break, you know. A nice little break. Makes me grateful for her more. Okay, I love that. And uh, Stockholm, favorite place. Yes, we just got back from there a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Home of the syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> well, Finger. hopefully not. But yes. Yeah. Um, well, well, I'm glad you're back and I'm ready to get started. Are Thank you? you? Here yes. we go. Our first category in this round is gonna be our thing category. And I can let all of you know that this thing, it's it's a food. Food. Okay. Is it a savory food? Yeah, I I'd, I'd say it's in the savory category. Yeah. Hi, Shani. Why, hello there. I love your energy, and you know, apparently I didn't get any sleep, so I'm gonna need to feed off of it. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Me too. You love mangoes. I love them. I do too. Question. Yes. How do you cut them? You know, I'm kind of a savage. I don't really cut the mangoes, I just take a peel and bite into it like an apple. Really? Yeah, very barbaric. Hmm, yeah. okay. Well, okay. all right, uh, I love mangoes and uh, welcome to Mango Talk. We have, a lot of, we have a lot of food. And speaking of food, we're talking about a food in this category. We know we that it's a, it's a savory category. Ask me a question. Is it an American food? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Hi, Lauren. Hello. We have something in common. Steve Martin is also one of my favorite people. Yes, he's so multi-talented. Funniest person ever. He's a genius. Google it. He's hilarious. Steve Martin. Okay, but we're talking about a food here. We've got a food that is not American and I'd say savory. Does it contain meat? No. Does not contain meat. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. If you buzz in, you get it right. You got 100 points. If you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. This thing is a condiment with different taste components, including salty, sweet, and bitter. Salty, sweet, and bitter. Okay, that didn't seem to help anybody. No. I've often been described as all three of those things. <laughs> Does this condiment go on sandwiches? I'd say no, not traditionally. Mm -hmm. Shani. Do people eat it with French fries? Mm, I'd say no, mm. not traditionally. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we can't control yeah. what everyone does with their condiments. I've of seen course. people put stuff on stuff and you're like, what? Yeah, I believe you. Lauren. Can I take a guess? Yeah, you can. Is it soy sauce? It is a soy sauce. Wow. How did you know that? Um, it's the only condiment I could think of that had like multiple elements of flavor. Okay, well, you were right. 100 points to you, great job. Okay, right. Shani, you're gonna start off this next category. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Get this man a mango. <laughs> All right. This is our person category, and Shani, I can tell you that this person is a comedian. Is it a male? Yes. Okay. Lauren. Are they on a TV show? Currently? Currently. Are they currently on well, a TV show? Are they a TV star? Are they a TV star? Yes. Brooke. Are they over the age of 50? No. Mm -mm. Ready for a clue? 
Here we go, buzzers out. This person has received the Mark Twain Prize for American humor. Brooke. To Adam Sandler? It is not Adam Sandler, but that was a great guess because I think he just recently got it. Yeah, that means you're out until the next clue. Shani, yes. not Sandler. I'm gonna just guess. Okay. Kevin Hart. Nope, it is not Kevin Hart. Lauren. Hmm. Um, did they have their own TV show? Yes, they did. Okay, Brooke, you are out for a question or a guess, but it's time for a clue, so here we go. He co-wrote and starred in the movie Half-Baked. Brooke. Is it Dave Chappelle? Yes, Whoa. it is Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Hilarious, uh, great job, 100 Thank points. You. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Okay, Lauren, you're gonna kick off this last category in this round, and this is our place category. And Lauren, I can tell you that this place is a U.S. state. A U.S. state. Sure, is it in the Midwest? No, not in the Midwest. Brooke. Is it on the West Coast? Nope, not on the West Coast. Is it in the South? Yes. Yeah. It is in the South. All right. All right. Ready for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This place was home of the first British colony in 1607. Brooke. Is it Virginia? It is Virginia. Fantastic round, everyone. Brooke is in the lead with 200 points, but Lauren has 100 points. Shani not on the board yet, but up next, we got great questions, even greater clues. Don't go anywhere. Come on back for more person, place, or thing. Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code in the corner of your screen, and you will not only meet today's super fan, Mary Ann, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing, where we know more about British colonies than stand up comedy. Yes! <laughs> and proud of it. Welcome back, we have a great game here. Brooke, our returning champion, is in the lead with 200 points. Lauren's on the board at 100. Shani, not quite yet, but he is ready to go, and I know you are ready I for am. round two. Let's do it. Let's do it. Two we down. play round two the same as the first round, except we're gonna double your points, and you get to pick which category we're gonna play. And Shani, since you're behind, Let's I'm go. gonna let you pick it first. All right. What would you like to play? I want to play a place. A place. Yes. Okay, I can tell you, this place is a business. Do they offer drinks? Is it known for drinks? Do they offer them or are they known for Are them? they known for them? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Lauren. Hello. Hello. Is this business in the United States? Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Brooke. Is this business in clothing? No, it's not. Get your buzzers out, time for a clue. Remember, this round, they're worth 200 points if you yes. get it right. The founder of this business also co-founded Atari. Shani. Nintendo. It is not Nintendo. Okay. Good guess, but you're out until I give another clue. It's fine. Lauren. Uh, is this business place on the West Coast? Yeah, it's on the West Coast. Okay. Brooke? Is it Microsoft? It is not Microsoft. And Shani, you don't get to ask a question this because you got it wrong, but fine. it's time for a clue, so get your buzzer out. All right. In the early 90s, this restaurant chain changed its mascot from a rat to a mouse. Lauren. Chuck E. Cheese? Wow. It is Chuck E. Cheese. And the f idea that they started out with a rat. Like, you know, yeah. kids, they love, they love pizza, they love rats. You know, who doesn't want to have a birthday party with rats and pizza? I, it's, I love it, by the way. They are the best birthday party for a kid. So, Chuck E. Cheese, well done. You got 200 points, Lauren. Great job. And you get to pick the next category. I'm going to pick a thing. A thing, okay. I can tell you this thing is in the kitchen. Is it something I can hold in my hand? Yes, you can. Brooke. Is it used on the stove? No. Shani. Is it used for cutting? No. Oh. Ready for a clue. 
Buzzer's out. This thing is used for dispensing a seasoning. Brooke, is it a salt shaker? Oh. It is a salt shaker. 200 points to you. Ooh. Well, shot in the dark sometimes <laughs> works. Well done, you just Thank took you. the lead there. And you get to pick our category. What do you want to play? I'll play pay. Place. Place, okay. I can tell all of you this place is a historic site. A historic site. Is it in America? No, it is not. Shani. Is it religious? Yes. I would say so, yes, it is. Is it in the middle? Is it in the Middle East? No, it is not in the Middle East. Ready for a clue? Buzzer's out. This place is a famous Anglican church located in London, England. That didn't help anybody. You were just traveling too, were you, no? Didn't get to go to London, didn't, no. Didn't get to go to London. Okay, well your turn, you can ask a question. Are they known for having weddings? Yes, there's been weddings there. Mm-hmm. Shani. Does the Queen of England visit there often? Not anymore. Um, You're right. That's... Cause she's in heaven right now. Did she, when she was alive? But when she was here, yeah. I would say she did visit here. Okay. Hi. Okay. Lord. I'm gonna guess. Okay. Is it Westminster? Abbey? Wow. <laughs> it is Westminster Abbey. Well done. You just got yourself another 200 points. Fantastic round, everybody. We've got ourselves a great game. Lauren is in the lead with 500 points. Brooke is right behind at 400. And Shani's not on the board yet, but you know what? Up next, it's a speed round, and we're going to see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. Chris, just fun to buzz. <laughs> we have a great game going on here. Lauren is in the lead with 500 points. Brooke is at 400. And Shani, not on the board yet, but 90 seconds can turn this game upside down. That's right. It is time for our speed round, so get your buzzers ready. Yeah. Yeah, Shani. Hi, Mom. Yes. Say hi to your mom. <laughs> Everyone, say hi to your mom. They love that. Mom. Okay, love here you. we go. All right, I'm going to read a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. If you think you know the answer, buzz in, and if you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out, but just until the next category. You guys ready? Yes. Yep. yes. Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock. Man, this round, just because it's fast, it thinks it's better than everyone. I know, right? You're not better than anyone else, third round. Good luck, players. Time starts now. This thing is frequently found in French bakeries. Shani. Croissants. Yes. Yes! This figure skater competed in the 1992 and 1994 Winter Olympics. She was a finalist on Dancing with the Stars in 2018. She was the first American woman to perform a triple axel in competition. Margot Robbie portrayed her in a 2017 movie. Anyone? No, Tanya Harding. Oh. This person married fellow country star Trisha Yearwood in 2005. His song, Rope in the Wind, earned him his first Grammy. He sold an estimated 170 million albums. He hit number one on the Billboard yeah. country chart with friends in low plate. Brooke. Garth Brooks. Yeah, Garth Brooks. This large marble temple was built in the 5th century BC. It was dedicated to the goddess Athena. It's located at the Acropolis in Athens. Lauren. Colosseum. No, it's decorative <laughs> sculpture. Brooke. Artemis Temple? No, it's decorative sculptures are considered among the high points of ancient Greek art. Shani? Nope, I next, Parthenon. Yeah. This fictional character was created by Robert Louis Stevenson. He's an English medical practitioner who first appeared in an 1886 novella. He was featured in a 1941 horror movie starring Spencer Tracy. He has an evil alter ego named Mr. Hyde. Brooke. Dr. Jekyll. Yes. This place Oof. is on the border between Nevada and Arizona. It is named for the 31st... Sh Shani. Utah. No. It ah. is named for the 31st president of the U.S. It was built to hold back water from the Colorado River. Oh. We let her win. Anyone want to just, for fun? Hoover Dam. Hoover, Hoover, Dam. Dam. Hoover Dam, everybody, mm -hmm. Hoover Dam. Okay, you all played very hard and very fast, but not enough to catch up with our returning champ. That means, Brooke, congrats. Yeah. You are moving on to play our final round. 
Shani, yeah. you had the best energy. Loved having you, Lauren. Thank you were you. fantastic. We're not going to send you home empty handed. So, oh. Jamie, tell them what they won. Blue crossover swimwear that will take you from the beach to the bar. So comfortable like a second skin. Fun patterns and bright colors. Blue, the color and comfort of swim. I hope you guys enjoy those. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thank and you. congrats to you, Brooke. Thank you are you. moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. All right, stick around and see if Brooke will win $5,000. We'll be back right after this. Now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. A $200 Tommy Bahama gift card with 21 restaurants and bars and over 160 shops. You've never been closer to living the island life. Make every day a vacation day at TommyBahama.com. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of person, place, or thing. I'm standing here with Brooke, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie. Tell them about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world with millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement. Scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spend. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Brooke, this is your third time here. Yep. You've been really great at it. Have you learned anything, any any strategies coming into it this third time? Ask more questions, take my time. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. You got this. Here's what you got to do, Brooke. In 60 seconds, you have to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing. You can start with any category that you want. Ask me as many yes or no questions as you need to, and guess as many times as you want. And as always, I have three clues for you. Use them any way you want, but make sure you use them. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing, and you are going to head on home with $5,000. And we're going to send our super fan, Marianne, off to the garage sales with $500. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Okay. I can tell you, your person is an entertainer. Your place is a tourist attraction. And your thing is a movie. Where would you like to start? Let's start with movie. Movie. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. I hope you get them all, Brooke. Or none. Either way, great tally. <laughs> Good luck to you. Time starts now. Is it a comedy? No. Is it a drama? No. Is it a romantic movie? No. Oh. Clue. This film's title character tries to phone home. E.T. Yes. Entertainer. Are they a singer? No. Are they a man? Yes. Um, clue. This silent movie star was portrayed by Robert Downey Jr. in a 1992 movie. Hmm. Skip. Okay. Tourist attraction. Um, is it on the West Coast? Yes. Is it in California? Yes. Is it a theme park? Yes. Is it Disneyland? No. Is it Six Flags? Yes. You have another clue. This comedy legend was born in London, England in 1889. Yes! <laughs> You didn't even need a clue to get to Six Flags, which was fantastic, because I think you needed that clue to get to Charlie Chaplin. Yes. Um, but well played, E.T. I didn't even finish saying it. You got it. So congratulations to you, Brooke. You just won $5,000. And you get to come back again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Marianne, in Beer Park, New York. You just won $500. Follow that yellow brick road to the garage. Thanks for playing, and you know what? You too can become a person, place, or thing super fan by going to the website below. Uh, I, you know what? As always, this person is always grateful to be in this place and doing this thing. We'll see you next time. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.